And I've since learned that when you really look at the evidence, the truth is it takes more faith to be an atheist than it does to believe in God. You've really got to ignore the facts. Well, it's funny how we equate the word atheism with intellectual. Yeah. It's the exact opposite. That's right. Kirk, I have an, uh, an intellectually stimulating theory. It's my theory of where the soda can may have come from. Billions of years ago, there was a big bang in space. Nobody knows what caused the big bang. It just happened. And from this bang issued this huge rock. On top of the rock was found a sweet, brown, bubbly substance. And over millions of years, aluminum crept up the side, formed itself in a can, then a lid, and then a tad. And then millions of years later, red paint, blue paint, white paint fell from the sky and formed itself into the words, 12 fluid ounces, do not litter. You're saying, what are you doing? You're insulting my intellect. And so I am. Because we know if the, if the can is made, there must be a maker. If it's designed, there must be a designer. To believe the soda can happened by chance is to move into an intellectual free zone. It's to have an echo when you think. It's to have brain liposuction. Hold this, Kirk. Behold the atheist's nightmare. Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side there are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves. On the close side, two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. You'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. It has outward indicators of inward contents. Green, too early. Yellow, just right. Black, too late. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top. So God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find the wrapper, which is biodegradable, has perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. Notice it has a point at the top for ease of entry. It's just the right shape for the human mouth. It's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process so much easier. Seriously, Kirk, the whole of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative oh, hand. It absolutely does. You think, think of the human eye. Uh, it has 40,000 nerve endings and focusing muscles that move more than 100,000 times a day. The human eye has over 137 million light-sensitive cells. And even Charles Darwin himself said, To suppose that the eye could have been formed by natural selection seems, I freely confess, absurd in the highest degree. So even the, uh, the uh, creator of the theory of evolution says it just goes against my common sense and logic. And so